But there are over a million species of animal. Um, and uh, we've got to be vague because we're finding new ones and classifying new ones every... I say we. I haven't. I'm not. <laughs> no, I don't need to go away and say, it's all Gervais, because he's classified. I don't... I haven't... I've done very little to actually towards the... I've done nothing towards it. <laughs> but there's, there's a million, right? And combined with plants, there could be up to six million uh, species. There are, there are 300 types of parrot. There are 800 types of tarantula. Not spider, just tarantula. There are 1,000 types of bat. I don't think you need a thousand types of bat, to be honest, but I think a lot of that's nitpicking. <laughs> I think we could clump a few of There's probably about eight types, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon that's zoologists quota filling and getting money for every one they find. It's like a, a grand. <laughs> Found another one. Have you? Yeah? Look. What is it? Very slightly longer-eared bat. <laughs> look, look, it's just... Yeah, all right. Any more? Yeah. Chubby bat. Have you just been overfeeding a pipistrelle? You know? <laughs> there are more species of fish than mammal, bird and reptile put together. And here's a very frightening statistic. By the end of this lecture, and it is a lecture... <laughs> you know, um, by the end of this lecture, we will lose two species of animal. I won't be talking about them, it's not worth it. It's, uh, <laughs> well, waste your time and mine, so let's move on. Um, OK. Oh, there goes one. It's all right, it's a gnat. Not the big one. Oh, not the panda. Oh, oh the panda. Oh, let's save the panda. We are. We're not shooting it, we're not eating it, we're not... We're, cut, we're giving it cash. I mean... It's not meeting us halfway, is it? <laughs> yeah. It's not shagging. To be honest, I don't... You, when did it stop doing that? I mean, it's as evolved as any other. It's been around for millions of years. When did it go, I'm not doing that anymore? <laughs> go, no, I'm dirty, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Playing with a tyre, I'm not shagging her. Oh. <laughs> Is that the choice? One. Well, there, you're not... You're rare. We can't... Oh, I don't like her. Um, <laughs> we'll have to, we'll, we'll probably live forever anyway. We're goths. You're not goths. <laughs> We are, look, we're not... No, I've never seen a little fat, hairy goth. Robert Smith, apart from Robert Smith, you're not... <laughs> but the, uh, the, the Chinese government, they're so worried about their icon of world wildlife, right, that they've started... It's absolutely true, right? They've started giving pandas Viagra, right? And it said in the statement, um, they're trying uh, Viagra where traditional Chinese aphrodisiacs have failed. I looked some up on the internet, um, one of which is ground panda penis. <laughs> That's why that one didn't work. <laughs> There you go, drink it. Cheers. Ooh, have I got the horn? Where's the... Did you... <laughs> and it said in the statement, it said um, that the average copulation of a panda is 30 seconds, but Viagra allows them to mate for 20 minutes. Now, I don't want to get base, but I don't understand that, because you either come or you don't. What difference did it make whether you come after 20 minutes or 30 seconds? I don't... Unless the, the male only ever goes for 30 seconds, whatever happens. And then just goes, well, I didn't come, but the watch never lies. <laughs> or the Viagra makes it ejaculate for the full 20 minutes. <laughs> to, oh, I know, sorry, it's just like, oh. So he's just, he's just empty and he's, so he's definitely going to become, and it's like, it's like he's getting, and she's, ooh, like a, it's like pumping her till she's a big wobbly spunk bomb. Do you know what I mean? And, and the zookeepers are going, well, how much did you give him? She's going to fucking blow. <laughs> fucking hell. And the male sort of empty and just slides off her like, uh, like something you'd stick your pyjamas in. And like, oh, God, just fucking kill me. I'm never doing that again. I don't, I don't care. Um, but that's absolutely true. That's, uh, honestly, I read that. And um, see, you're learning something already. And because I want this uh, show to be uh, educational and thought-provoking and not just a bit of stand-up, I will, of course, be touching on the most violent and destructive animal on the planet. The giant gorilla, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. Uh, so, some people think the most violent and destructive animal on the planet is man. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> look at him. That would rip a man to pieces. <laughs> think, look. Uh, 
Look at the size of him. <laughs> They're buildings. God, no man would... Uh, the worst, most prolific mass murderer would... Uh, what's it? Dr Harold Shipman wouldn't be able to... He would not, how would he get that in an armchair when its kids were out? It wouldn't... <laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't. Uh, fuck off! <laughs> fuck off! Worst dictators in the world. Who's killed the most? Pol Pot. He's, he's killed the most. 100,000. You know who Pol Pot is? The bloke in charge of Cambodia. Um, he killed 100,000 people. He'd shit himself if he saw that. <laughs> so, this is absolutely true. He, he, he rounded up anyone he thought was intellectual and had them executed. Absolutely true. 100,000 of them. And how he told whether someone was intellectual or not was whether they wore glasses. If they're that clever, take them off when they see him coming. <laughs> They're thick, don't you? They're thick. <laughs> mm, yeah, well, kick it up. Look out, here comes Pol Pot. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too bad, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, lovely. It is, yeah. Him over there. Oh, yeah, going through. See, like, yeah, see, that. Like, fucking wanker. <laughs> That's. I could solve the world's problems if I cared. Oh. <laughs> Not all gorillas are that big, obviously, that's... But they're still pretty big. You see a mountain gorilla up close in the zoo or, you know, in the wild, kill it before it... No, I'm joking, they're very... <laughs> they're very passive. They're honestly very passive, totally vegetarian. Um, unlike some great apps like chimps and bonobos, they get a bloodlust, they hunt a monkey. A gorilla will only ever eat vegetation. It will never attack and it's provoked. And, um, this was illustrated quite well a few years ago. Do you remember when that, uh, little toddler fell in the gorilla enclosure at the zoo? Uh, it was about three. And uh, he fell down and he um, knocked himself unconscious. And this big silverback, his name was Jambo, just started walking towards him. And the people he was with and the people at the zoo, they were going spare, they were screaming, they didn't know what to do, they were at their wits end. They filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't completely lose the plot. <laughs> they probably figured if we lose him, we make 250 quid. <laughs> I mean... Insurance, not a complete disaster. <laughs> Send it back, Jeremy Beard, or that big one off Emma, what's her name, Ermin Trude. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't watch like that. But the, um, the, the mountain gorilla came and sat with him, just looked after him until the, the authorities got in, shooed him away, and it was fine. The kid was absolutely fine, and uh, they, they didn't send it off. But it was fine, it was a happy ending, and that's fairly typical. I was watching that with my nan, and she was getting on a bit then. Mm. And, uh, well, she's dead now, but... Mm. And, uh, it's true. She said... She said... Look at that. He was lucky. Cos usually they gobble them straight up. <laughs> usually. <laughs> How many kids has she think thrown to the gorillas in her time? <laughs> she also said, right... Ah, uh, she's dead now, but she was on the way then. And, um... <laughs> uh, on the neck up. But, uh, she, uh, do you remember the Strange Ways riots about ten years ago? And the prisoners were up on the roof for about three days and the guards and police couldn't do anything. They were, just, uh, they were ripping the place to pieces. They were putting the tiles off and they were just fucking throwing it down for about three days. She went, look at them. They should be locked up. 